Hello everybody, welcome to a first look at the game Distortions, or I think a better title for this would be David Lynch the Video Game. This is a very crazy adventure game that I was able to get a press key for that combines music and very surrealistic environments to tell a story that I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. And we're going to play some of it tonight. And while I do like the idea for it, I think some of the craziness is kind of getting in the way of good UI and control design. But, I'm going to start a new game and I'm going to not talk, because I want you to take in this whole intro, because this is something. And while I don't condone it, if you have any recreational substances on hand, you may want to take them now. So with that said, let's begin our little journey. Yeah, that's fine. I. So the story has to do with amnesia, and well, again, I'm once it finishes loading, I'm not going to say another word. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Come on, game. <sighs> Yes, there is no sound right here, folks. This is actually on purpose, I believe. You really don't remember, do you? Are you okay? You don't seem very well. I have to find out what really happened with us. With me. You're making no sense. You know what happened. Hey, are you okay? Are you losing yourself again? Calm down. Can you do that? Yes, just relax. Good. You can't go this way every time I say some of the truth. None of this is true. Okay, if you say so. I'm merely a passenger here. This is all about you, after all. Why do you say that? Because it's... well... Never mind. I shouldn't talk down to you. I apologize. But at least can you tell me what you think we should do about all this conflict you still insist on bringing along every time we get closer to remembering? This is not happening because of me. But it is. I'll show you. Again, if I have to. Come with me. 
Let's do it. One, two, three. Yeah, that, that made perfect sense, right? Anyone watching this right now could maybe explain to the rest of us what just happened? <laughs> I need to make sure you guys can still see everything. Good. Now, as I hope you're watching right now, the visual design of distortions is incredible. I always love when games go really surrealistic like this. And I think this definitely uh, serves that purpose. Also, one thing I would suggest for you playing this, turn off motion blur. I think that may make things a little easier for playing this game. But, I mean, look at that. And uh, like I said, I'm sure some of you are wondering what the gameplay is of Distortions, and I'm I'm wondering that as well, folks, because I'm not sure yet. Rendering the Matrix. <laughs> so maybe this is like the apartment from Prey. And no, I don't know why that guy has a VR visor on his head. And wearing what looks like a plague mask. That's that male's voice we heard. But, like I said, there's nothing that makes sense so far here. I'm sure by the end of this video, this will all make sense. Every last drop. something, although I think we're still in a dream. through the glass there, or the looking glass. Alright. And of course she has amnesia. I don't think Pyramid Head's going to show up any point.
can only run for short distances before she gets out of breath. But again, the visual design of this game is really nice. But this is you. This is a very uh, new new designer mistake here. You shouldn't let the player control character during a cutscene like this. So I'm pretty sure this can lead to breaking some things. I know you're wondering what that icon the upper right means. I don't know. So the good news is we don't have to run too far, as it will transition, as you can see. But sometimes I notice that the analog stick stays locked if you're still holding it in between cutscenes. Like it becomes very hard to go straight. Again, I don't know what that sign means up there. I can't control the camera. Alright. And we still really haven't gotten anything that could be considered gameplay just yet. Alright, where are we now? Again, that's some impressive visual details. Mm. This is one of those games where I think you just want to keep your hand on the screenshot key at all times. I mean, look at that detail, the sky and the mountains. We broke the world. <sighs> and the running is weird. Like basically, the second you see our arms change, that's when you want to stop running. But then you just immediately start. Now those caves are save points. We apparently have health as well. But I haven't ran into anything that would require it. Now it looks like we can play something there, but we don't have a violin yet. Alright, what 
what do we have over here? <laughs> uh, similar to Alan Wake, we're going to be finding pages that will tell us what's going on. Well, in some sense. Again, if you're looking to me to solve this game's mysteries, you've come to the wrong place. Alright, what do we have here? I really hope there's not any actual music playing in distortions, because I can't play any instrument. So this journal apparently gives us clues for future puzzles. Alright, good to know. But we're still missing the violin itself. What the hell is that? Again, if you're looking for things to make sense, you are playing the wrong game and watching the wrong video. I'm not sure what the weirdest part of that thing is. Alright, so we've been over there. There's that area, that's where we came from. That area is blocked. Controls are a little stiff in some areas. Oop. And now from that journal, it showed us what the exact path is. And the path is fixed every time. So what we gotta do is... Again, it definitely feels like developers spend more time on the aesthetics than, it is, than they did on the controls and uh, general playability. When I last did this, it killed me in the middle of the cutscene. There's a town or something in the distance. I'm just wondering how many copyright claims I'm going to get for this. Alright. 
Where are you taking us now, game? Oh good, we didn't even get to the title yet. Jump. I screenshot that, right folks? Sorry, Reds. Oh, never mind. I don't think I can skip this either. I don't even know how long this game is, so... We'll probably wrap it up in maybe like the next 5-10 minutes. I would like to solve at least one puzzle, if there's any in here. We're going to do some Mario uh, platforming. I think we're about to hopefully start the game for real. Or was that just the entire chapter? Nobody knows. Still haven't found our violin yet. So there's something good over there. I know, game. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, jeez. Again, if you're looking for a very refined experience, I don't think we're going to get it with distortions. Jump 
something that far. Oh, yeah, yeah we know. Off. And then we go into these caves. This is our save points. And I figure after that whole intro, this will probably be a good time to save. <laughs> but I want to quit the game. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking. For again, I think the violin. Oh, well, this looks promising. But again, we're dealing with dream logic, so who knows where the hell we're supposed to be going? Oh, hey, come on, come on, controls. materialize on me. Uh oh. World's breaking again. Mm-mm. Oh. I've gone to first person again. be our memory of the level, or the real version of it. Uh... Guessing that's her? Again, I can't skip these. But, I think we will begin to wrap things up in the next minute or so. sister.
wonder if this will take us to the end of the chapter. Looks like sheet music. I don't know, I might have to play the violin. and then we'll wrap it up. I like the visual design of this game. Again, it's really amazing. I just don't know how much this gameplay is going to keep you interested, though. using X instead of B. Take that, game. You know the right chords, you can change things. Come on. What are we doing? Come on. <laughs> Let's go, game. Again, I hope they don't require you to read sheet music in this, because I cannot do that at all. Play a quick song and then that will do it. Come on, game, speed it up here. Okay. I'm gonna fail this, by the way, folks, because I can't play music. Let's see. But we'll wrap it up, I think, here. hours playing guitar here or uh, paying off. Alright, it looks like something's about to happen here. Play a concert hall. things again. I'm still going. Alright, but I think from here we will wrap things up. As well, this is amazing to look at. Again, we are spoiling the game. Good. Alright, well, 
with that, we're going to wrap it up here. I don't know if we want to stream this game. I think this is one of those one and done kind of experiences. But if you like what you saw and looking for a game with an amazing visual and auditory style, definitely check out Distortions. But again, if you're looking for more of the adventure or gameplay, I don't think that's what this game is about. But that's going to do it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check back for daily streaming around 10 Eastern. And if you are an indie developer working on a game that you'd like me to take a look at, please don't hesitate to get in touch. So once again, this has been Distortions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Before we get to the credits, just wanted to give a quick thank you and shout out to the supporters over on patreon.com slash gwbicer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check back around 10 Eastern for regular streaming. If you like suggest games for me to cover or topics to talk about, let me know in the comments below. For a collection of my writings, as well as weekly podcasts on design, check out Game-Wisdom.com. To support the Game Wisdom Patreon, you can find us on there on Patreon.com slash GWBicer. A dollar will get you into our private Discord channel where we talk game topics and more. Five dollars will get you voting privileges for any major event, including the Saturday Night Grab Bag, Patreon-funded goals, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy more videos here on the Game Wisdom YouTube channel.